What's up everybody? I know it's been a little bit again and uh, I confess I did a forging project that I did not document on video. There are some pictures on my Instagram if you want to check out the last project I did. But for this video I had to uh, bring you guys along as I start uh, another hobby not replacing forging but something that I've been thinking about doing for quite a while. And uh, I think I'm going to work towards going to arm wrestling competitions. I need to get in to train anyways just to get blood flow to feel better. So to have a target to train for, which is going to be arm wrestling, it kind of gives me a little more motivation to get, the gym, uh, get to the gym or the workout room more often. So anyways, without further ado, the current project is making an arm wrestling table. Okay, so here's the uh, start of the arm wrestling table. I kind of like the way the top turned out. I'm a little nervous. I'm not so sure this is supposed to be this wide here, that full length of that 2x4 plus the plywood top. Um, I am worried that over time, uh, this base is not going to work. You're technically supposed to bolt it, but uh, I don't even know if I want to go through the trouble to bolt it. I think I'm just going to make a base out of steel angle, but uh, I'm not there yet. I think I'm going to work on the 7x7 elbow pads that are supposed to be 2 inch high. And then uh, the pinholes that set them in the table. Okay, so time for a quick check-in. Um, I hot glued these together temporarily until I get these sewed up to uh, go over top. Uh, they're not stuck real well, but they're not falling apart. Oh, one little side note. I'm wondering if this foam is going to be too squishy. Uh, I sure hope not. Alright, one of the pads, done. Finishing up the other one. And then I'll get back to you. Confession time, the idea I had to mount the hand pegs is, was horrible. It was an epic fail, so I'm completely changing it. So, uh, my idea was to drill an interesting little hole down there, get a peg down through and anchor it from the bottom side so only the peg came up through. Well, that didn't, didn't work well at all, as you can see. So, you put this peg here, and even with the little steel piece I had in here, there was too much movement here. I just, I feel like it's not going to be good in the long run. So, I arm wrestled at someone else's house uh, yesterday, and he had just basically a flange like this with pipe, and it, it, seemed, to, it seemed to hold up pretty good. So, this setup here is what I'm going to do instead. And I'm going to get these holes all pre-drilled before I put the foam uh, backer down here and then a pull through the table. Okay, so uh, the top foam is all glued down with spray adhesive. I've got two extra layers plus the top one that are going to roll around the side here for a little bit of padding where your hip goes into the table just temporarily stapled. That'll secure it into place when it's finished uh, being upholstered. 
So this is cut to length. This is ready. Just going to go ahead and staple her all up. Well, I'm all finished with this table. Pretty happy with the results. Um, technically, these legs should be bolted, but I only used uh, screws for now. Uh, I'm planning on replacing that wood frame with steel at some point, angle iron I've got ready to go. I just gotta clean it up and weld it up. But for now, we got a good functional practice table. Woohoo! Alright, now the table is done. It's time to practice. Mm. Yeah! Yeah! I'll practice with you, Daddy. You think you can beat me, boy? Yes. Ah! Ah! Since the table's all done, let me give you the breakdown. Uh, I probably spent out of my own pocket around $100 for supplies, uh, besides what I had laying around the house. That's just for the pipe, the hardware, um, the vinyl top, the vinyl coatings here out of the bargain bin from the local Joanne Fabrics, and uh, some of the wood that I used. So I'm in at around $100, not too bad. It's a whole lot better than spending $500 on a brand new one. and. Uh, I would say the most difficult part of this project was laying out the holes so they all function flawlessly in the tabletop. That was definitely the hardest part of this project. So anyways, fun for the whole family. There you go! Ah! Ah!